Hello students, Miss Swanson here, and today we're going to take a look at combustion reactions. Now I've got quite a few pictures here of combustion reactions. Often when we see fire, we're dealing with a combustion reaction. So we have several learning goals for today. Identify combustion reactions, compare and contrast complete and incomplete combustion, predict the products or reactants of hydrocarbon combustion reactions, and balance combustion reactions. So let's take a look at what our combustion reactions look like. They take the form A, so a chemical, plus O2, oxygen, to give us AO and energy. So the elements and the oxygen come together, touch together to make a new compound, and it also produces energy. So a reactant combines with oxygen to make an oxide, and an oxide is a compound with oxygen and energy. Energy is not always written in the reaction, in fact most of the time it isn't. So you may see a reaction that looks like this, and then energy may be in brackets and may be omitted completely. Now if you'll notice this looks a lot like our synthesis reactions. In fact, many times combustion reactions are a type of synthesis reactions. Uh, when we deal with hydrocarbon combustion, it's a little bit different, but with combustion of a regular element other than a hydrocarbon, it actually looks a lot like the synthesis reactions that we've seen already. So let's take a look at our combustion of hydrocarbons. A hydrocarbon is a compound that contains hydrogen and carbon and also sometimes contains oxygen. Combustion of hydrocarbons produces an oxide of hydrogen, which happens to be H2O, and an oxide of carbon, which is CO2. So we end up with the products H2O and CO2. Oops. So if we take a look at our complete combustion, this is when only the most common oxides are actually produced. So the H2O and the CO2 are produced and no other oxides are produced. For incomplete combustion, there's insufficient oxygen to actually have complete combustion occur and so multiple oxides are produced. So you might end up with carbon monoxide, you may end up with soot, you may end up with other chemical compounds. So let's take a look at how we would predict these types of reactions. Well, we know if we're dealing with the hydrocarbon, our answer is going to be H2O and CO2. I will never give you an example of incomplete combustion and make you predict those products because sometimes there can be different types of products, but it'll always be a complete combustion. So here we have a hydrocarbon. It's got carbon and it's got hydrogen and it's reacting with O2, so we know it's combustion. And we know the rule for combustion of a hydrocarbon is that it produces carbon dioxide and water. So those will be our products there. Now if we want to balance this one, we have carbon, there are four on the left, so we need to put a coefficient four in front of our carbon to make that even. We have eight uh, hydrogen on the left, so we have two on the right, so if we put a four there, that'll give us our eight hydrogen. Now we have four times two, we have eight plus these four, so eight plus four gives us 12 oxygen on the right. We only have two on the left, so if we put a six here, six times two gives us 12, so we have 12 oxygen on each side. Let's take a look at the next example. We have something that reacts with oxygen. Because it's reacting with oxygen, we're dealing with the combustion reaction, and it's giving us iron three oxide. Because it's iron 3 oxide, we know the piece that we're missing out of our, our reactants is iron. So iron's going to react with oxygen to give us iron 3 oxide. Now if we want to balance this one, on the left we have 2 oxygen and we have 3 on the right. So if we put a 2 in front of our iron 3 oxide and a 3 in front of our oxygen, we end up with 6 on each side, so that's balanced. Now we have 4 iron on our right, so we need a 4 on the left to give us 4 iron on each side. Let's take a look at the next one. We have CH4, which we can recognize as a hydrocarbon because it has hydrogen and carbon in it, plus something, and it gives us CO2 and H2O. Well, we know that CO2 and H2O are the products of a combustion reaction, and the definition of combustion is that a uh, an element or a compound reacts with oxygen. So that means what we're missing here is the oxygen because that's what this element or compound is reacting with.
So let's try and balance this one. We have one carbon, one carbon. That looks good. Here we have four hydrogens, so we need four on this side. Now we have four on that side. And now we have two oxygen here, plus two there, so we have four oxygen. We need four on the other side, so we'll put a coefficient two. Two times two is four, so we're all balanced out. Let's take a look at one last example. We have magnesium and oxygen, and we know that it's going to form an oxide, which, sorry, we should say because we're dealing with an element plus oxygen, and oxygen is, our com is telling us we're dealing with combustion, so we know we're going to produce an oxide, and an oxide is an element with oxygen attached. So that means we're going to end up with magnesium and oxygen attached. Now we know magnesium has a two plus charge and oxygen a two negative. So if we cross over or we do our zero sum rule, we know that we'll end up with one magnesium and one oxygen. So we have the formula MgO. Now if we want to balance this, we have two oxygen on the left, only one on the right. So we'll put a coefficient two in front of the magnesium oxide. Now we have two magnesium on the right, so we need two on the left and now we're all balanced. So let's take another look at our learning goals. Can you identify combustion reactions? Can you compare and contrast complete and incomplete combustion? Can you predict the products or reactants of hydrocarbon combustion reactions? And we actually did all sorts of combustion reactions, not just hydrocarbons in those examples. And can you balance combustion reactions? If you can do this, fantastic. If not, please rewatch the video. And if you're still having trouble, come ask me in class tomorrow. All right, that's all for now. Bye-bye.